Welcome to this week's episode of Humans in Five. Our regular viewers know that we have a lot of things in common, but a big one is our shared love of music. We love everything from pop to classical music. It's not just the sound that moves us, but the feeling we get from listening to and enjoying music. It comes over you like a rush, and at least for us, with that rush comes a wave of chills. We get the chills whilst listening to music or watching a great movie, but it turns out not everyone does, and researchers are curious why music gives some people the chills. When people get the chills from music, they experience a wave of powerful sensations and emotions. Some people feel a shiver down the spine, trembling, flushing, and sometimes even sexual arousal in response to a beloved piece of music. There seems to be a certain musical moment that triggers this feeling. As we develop our musical tastes, we develop certain expectations about how songs go. If a song is too basic and plays by the rules, it doesn't just excite us. If a song is too wild and paints too far outside of the lines, we just think of it as noise. But if a song toys with your expectations by throwing in little musical surprises, like a new instrument or a change in volume, this musical tease may make us swoon. It's the, break, it's the break from expectation that excites the part of our brains, in the words of Australia's Dr. Carl, which control our response to the four Fs. Fight, flight, fright, and making love. Our brains release a wave of chemicals that both excite and reward us. We feel breathless, our hearts are racing, but at the same time we feel pleasure and happiness when we hear great music. But, as we said earlier, not everyone feels these feelings when listening to their favorite tunes. It turns out these feelings are more common among people with certain personality traits. In particular, people who are open to new experiences are more likely to get the chills. Originally, researchers thought that people who seek out and try new things responded more emotionally to music or art. However, new research from Eastern Washington University suggests that people with high openness scores are more cognitively involved in a piece of music. Open listeners may make more predictions about how the music will proceed, leaving them more open to surprises. They may also combine daydreaming and listening to create scenes in their minds that match the music they hear, also strengthening their response to that music. So, intensely listening to music, immersing yourself in all elements of the song, rather than casually hearing it in the background, might be the key to getting a strong physical response that gives you the chills. This response may be a way to further train our brains by expanding our listening experiences and developing our awareness for certain patterns in sound. Making predictions and learning that they aren't always met can be good for survival in an evolutionary context. However, getting chills from music could also be a cheesecake response. It's not nutritious for our brains, but a tasty treat that uses pathways that are important for other functions. Until we learn more about why we make and enjoy music, these just-so stories need a little bit more testing before getting our full support. Whether or not you get the chills, we hope you enjoy some quality time with your favorite music. We'll see you next time on Humans in Five. And don't forget to subscribe.